Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Lee Time brand, their 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. 12 volts comes to the input and it reduces 110, 120 volts AC on the output. And it has this really cool remote that allows you to see the status of things and the cable that will plug into the back. Also includes the heavy duty 12 volt cables you'll need, some ground cables, some mounting hardware for some brackets. There's two brackets that you can mount this if you don't want it mounted flush into whatever you're doing. So this is excellent uh, for RV and camping, off-grid solar power. Uh, with, it's got four AC outlets and two USB outputs and the school LCD screen which has the real-time status. Product gets great customer ratings, has a one-year warranty. It is CE, FCC, and RHS certified, which is great to see. So the way these things work, if you're not familiar, is they take an input of DC and that is right here. We're going to be sending it in 12 volts DC into these real heavy duty connections. You want through the plastic there and you bolt it in. You want to make sure that you put really good connections here and you have the adequate battery. The battery that you're going to use is proportional to how much energy. If you're only drawing, you know, 200, 300 watts, the battery could be smaller. But if you're going to try and get that capacity of 3,000, you need to have a big, large 12 volt battery. So let's take a look at the backside right here. Here you can see it has the four AC grounded outlets. That ground is the same as the metal ground right there, which is the same as the ground in your home, which is your pipes and earth ground. This also has a unique right here because it also has hotline, neutral, and ground right there so that you can hardwire this into something if you'd like to. There's where the remote control goes with the included cable. Here is the power on off. It's a digital switch. Fault LED, general fault, power on, USB-A and USB-C. These are both output ports, about two and a half amps, really, really high current. See openings in here in slots because they want cooling to go through because the opposite side had the two fans so it can draw cool air in here. Also notice that on the sides and all across the unit there is aluminum and there is slots in the aluminum to increase the surface area so that this runs cool. That's real important for something like this. It also comes with a really nicely written instruction manual with colored pictures showing you how to use it and all the specs and everything. That's really nice. So I'm going to be using this in my basement, but we're testing it first to look at the sine wave under load. Then we're going to be setting it up for my sump pump system in my house. That's one great application for this. So that you have 12 volt batteries back up and then if you lose power, you can send AC power to your sump pump in an emergency, a storm, something like that. So that's what we'll be doing next. Before I begin this, I want to show you how this was mailed to me and you can see how they safely packed this a relatively heavy and industrial feeling and looking product. So I'm going to be connecting the lead time 3000 watt inverter to a lead time lithium battery 12 volt at 50 amp hours and uh, opening up the package I see that it comes with the, uh, two plus cables and two minus cables so if you wanted to you could use two batteries in parallel which is going to help you increase the amperage to the unit. So here I'm connected up. I got the negative to the negative terminal there and a positive to the positive. Make sure you tighten these so that there's no slop in there because you're going to be putting a decent amount of current, DC current, through those. And here I have it powered on. You just hit the power button right there. The green LED comes on. I have the cable hooked up to the remote. And you see the remote comes on. You do have a power switch on there and you have a light. And uh, really nice to have this. You can see the voltage there display tells you 13.6 volts at the input, 20 degrees centigrade is what the unit is operating at. The output is 60 hertz, 120 volts, and they show that it's a sine wave. It's not any watts right now because we don't have it under load. But I really like that display. Now let's start with some of the basics. You have your ports out there, USB-C and USB-A. Here I'm charging a multimeter which I'm going to use for the further testing. You can charge anything that uses USB-A or USB-C up to 2.1 amps and that's great to have so that you're nearby your inverter. You can charge any device including a mobile phone or an LED light or anything you might have in your basement or by your power system. So here's the first simple test. I have a uh, voltage right there, 121.4, which is uh, good to see there's uh, no load and I'm going right across the AC and I just have a LED light as a load just so I can verify that it is powered on and the display reflects no wattage because it's not enough to really trigger the amperage on there. Here's the next test. I have this on oscilloscope mode and you can see it's a beautiful sine wave. You can see the little dots right there. It's emulating a full 120 hertz, 60 cycle hertz 
sine wave, as you can see right there, with this load attached. Now I'm going to try and put some different loads on here. Here I have a heat gun from Romtec, Romac actually, and um, I could dial in the wattage on this because it has a wattage dial on the back so we can see the input. See it's drawn 20 watts, We're still getting a beautiful sine wave on there. Let's increase the watts on here. Now it just shot to 120 watts. It's giving me that the voltage had dropped, which you'd expect. Still 12.3 on the input, and it's still the output is 117 volts, and it's still a beautiful sine wave. Let's go to the maximum on this heat gun, and it's about 140 watts that's being drawn, and it's still a beautiful sine wave, and this is getting really hot, which is what you'd expect. So my point here is that under normal loads, depending on what you're going to be drawing, this produces a beautiful sine wave, as you can see, and you can draw a decent amount of wattage, and uh, depending on your application, you can go up to 2,000, 3,000 watts with this if you're going to be drawing that much on something. Again, just make sure you got a really good 12-volt battery from lead time on it like I have, and make sure you have good connections also. So here I have it in my basement, and I have my sump pump right there. And I have the sump pump controller plugged into the lead time inverter that provide backup if I lose power. And I have the lead time lithium battery right there. And I'm keeping it charged and trickle charged with the Gulu standard charger right there, which works great. So the combination of the lead time lithium battery and this great inverter works really well. I love the display right there. Long cable on there so I can take this display and put it anywhere I want in the room, on the wall. I want to clean up these connections to make this more of a permanent solution. But uh, after testing this product and looking at the power and the sine wave and this cool display on here and the lead time battery and this lead time inverter are both excellent products. I'm going to give them both a full five star rating. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.